14,235 pounds. Back for another season, the front bath and a half Jayco Pinnacle here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Still has all the things you love, like uh, Jayco's industry leading warranty with two years of coverage plus three years structural, and that includes full time RVers, by the way. This is a wide body rated for seasonal use, but with a couple smart updates like an enhanced control system, uh, touched up nose cap and a new six-point hydraulic auto leveling system that people have been asking for for, I think, a couple years. With the slides closed at a glance, this one presents a challenge. You could climb over that king bed to get to the front bath, but I don't think you want to do that. The good news is you don't really have to. Obviously, that bed's available, but with this being a bath and a half model, you've got bath access right here, right by the door. And they also did a good job of making sure you could open at least half of that big uh, 18 cubic foot fridge freezer. You can get to all of the freezer, but since there's no center partition in here, you can open that enough that you can pretty much snake your arm through to get to anything. If you need a spot to sit down, grab a quick bite to eat on the road, you can do that. Now, Pinnacles are very much designed for destination use, but it doesn't mean that it's not travel stop friendly. Now, the moment you step inside a Pinnacle, you can, it's pretty obvious you're in a different class. Most RV manufacturers stop their fifth wheels at the level of a Jayco North Point. Pinnacle is a rare example of something that went a step beyond. And I can't hope to cover every single nut, bolt, widget, and whiz bang on this, but I'm gonna try to do it some justice. If you have some questions, you let us know. Like up top here, we have that Max Air vent fan with wall controllers, and uh, that does have a rain sensor. It'll shut itself down. The pendant lights in here are beautiful. It'll give it a very home-like feel, because like I said, if you're looking for something you want that full-time RVing experience, Pinnacle should definitely be on the list. It should be one of the first and one of the only ones. Um, the uh, fact, though, that you won't ever see the air conditioner in the bedroom or the living room or anywhere. You have dual 15,000 BTU whisper ducted uh, central air systems here, and since you don't see that square, you won't hear that air. Very nice if you're a light sleeper and you don't want that big compressor going kabong and waking you up at night, because that's basically the sound it makes. Now, there's a big difference here. There's there. Some people ask, you know, what is really different between a North Point and a Pinnacle? When you just read them on paper, it's hard to see the differences, but when you see them in person, you start going, oh, I, I get it now. So, first of all, a very obvious thing when you see them in person, people go, is this bigger? And yes, it is. Pinnacles are a 102 inch wide body, that's eight and a half feet, compared to a conventional eight foot wide normal RV. And that's what a North Point would be. And there's nothing wrong with that, it's just that this is, that's part of the reason Pinnacles might weigh a little more and cost a little more, but if you are gonna be living here, which I know a lot of people do in these pinnacles, you want every inch of space and it does open it right up. Now a cool thing Jayco does with their side entertainment, it's actually on a gas strut lift system. So if you wanna put that TV down and then just enjoy a window behind it, you can do that. Now of course you've got your electric heating fireplace and you've got your uh, you know, Bluetooth DVD system in one of those cabinets above there and it's streaming media friendly. You can plug a Roku stick in it. That's kind of common stock features. I don't want to spend time talking about things that everybody does. I want to talk about things that really separate these Jayco's, like these huge sofa and recliner side, well, theater seat side windows right here. Now, all of these windows have uh, day and night shades, but with that morning sun billowing in, I had to pull those blackout shades on the, the rear facing windows, but they are doing an awesome job of letting us really get a, a good chance to see in here. Now you see that little uh, ottoman right there. That is a little floating footstool storage ottoman. It's one of those extra little Jayco things that they do. And it's it's it just gives you an extra little storage place, gives you a place to kick your feet up if you're on that sofa, which by the way, you don't realize that is a wider sofa. This is a wider RV. And it's easy to miss the fact that it's a bigger sofa because it still has full side or full size side stands on either side of it. And where that's really nice is when you flip this down into sleeper mode, you've got household outlets on both sides. You got some USB plugs on uh, uh, the right facing side as we're looking at it right now. And this is a wider hide bed. So this is good for adult guests, not just grandkids. Now this is obviously a couple's focused floor plan, but if you are gonna have a kiddo over for the weekend or something like that, you got space here. But let's say you have adult friends or your adult children want to join you for a weekend. Even if they're CPAP users, this is CPAP friendly, 
guest sleeping space. And there is a look at that TV in the down position. Now, directly across from that, if the TV were up, you have our primary theater slash love seat. And what they did here is awesome because if you're a little bit big in the hips, well, you know, or you're a little bit thick in the midsection, like I seem to be a little bit, like, I keep yo-yoing up and down, but I think that's normal statistically. The fact, though, is if I wanted to snuggle up to the missus, if she would allow that, <laughs> then uh, I've got a, uh, you know, we've got this space here we can do it. Or we could sit our kid in between us. I know that my parents would love to have our daughter, their granddaughter, squeezed right between them on movie night. They would think that's just lovely. Now, this is a power theater recliner, and you do have USB outlets on uh, those two silver power controllers that you can see. So it's absolutely awesome for things like phone charging. But the, remember how I called it like a theater or love seat? It's got a little bit of a secret weapon here. Really kind of reminds me of something you might find in a toy hauler, but adapted to a very well-refined upscale couples camping scenario. That center section folds down to reveal a handy little set of cup holders. It's kind of nice, like, I'm an armrest hog. It, it's, it's true. I try to be very considerate if I'm ever on a flight, but I, I'm, I'm just organically, I'm an armrest hog. What's kind of cool here, though, is in addition to those USB plugs to keep your phones going, if you drop this thing down, push your little magic button, you've got another set of USBs and a household plug there. So maybe you've got a laptop or a tablet or something that has a bigger power adapter or, ooh, a heated blanket for your lower back. That would be absolutely ideal there. And as you've obviously noticed, there's that storage aspect of the floating footrest ottoman thing that I was telling you about. Now these are six and a half foot tall slide outs and they give you windows all over the camp side of the RV, including that main entry door. But if I get over here a little bit where I'm not staring directly at uh, bright light, you can see how there's actually a shade for the main entry door as well. Now they do a really cool, almost like, uh, I call it diesel pushery, couples camping dinette situation here. For most of the time, it's just going to be the two of you, and this will do just fine. But if you're going to have some guests, or you want to sit down and write out some bills, well, well, nobody ever wants to sit down and write up bills. If you have to sit down and write up some bills, you can make yourself a handy little desk station here. And those dual fold-away guest chairs can hide very nicely either under your bed, because there is full storage there, or in that uh, giant front closet that you have. Now, in case you're wondering, there are household outlets here. They're kind of hidden. Uh, on either side of that little side shelf stand right there. Now, uh, a neat thing here, I've kind of I've walked past a few of these and I haven't mentioned it. You will find these handy little control panels all over the place. Now, what's cool about these is they are zone sensitive and they are all over this place. So the buttons, the six buttons that are on that, they can be a little different from your dining area, which can be a little different from your bedroom, from your bathroom, from your kitchen. They all do something that makes sense relative to the context of that zone. It's really, really cool. Um, now, of course, we've got solid surface counters all the way through. You can see that beautiful high-rise faucet. You can see that it has a skirted stainless sink and some easy reach outlets. Plus, you've got that pop-up power tower. What I want to look at here is something new, and that is the freshwater drinking system that you have in your uh, Jayco fifth wheels. Long story short, this has a separate water tank a jug, actually, that is very easy to swap out uh, if you're ever at, uh, you know, back in town. And it eliminates the need to have, uh, you know, so much storage space taken up by just bottled water. And uh, we'll, we'll look more at that outside. It's actually very simple, but it's very cool and very effective. As long as we're down here looking at the island, I like that they give you big pots, pan storage, room for your dish soaps and whatnot. And a built-in place for your wastebasket is always friendly. Now, you can get a residential refrigerator in these, but here at Halid RV, short of a special order, 10 times out of 10, you're going to find that we put the 18 cubic foot huge gas and electric fridge freezer in this because it's more traveling friendly, and God forbid you're ever at a place and you lose power, it'll automatically kick over to propane, so you won't lose the hundreds of dollars worth of groceries that you have packed into this thing. On top of that, we've got a uh, convection microwave and a fantastic amount of storage in this kitchen. Above and on both sides of that convection microwave, you've got some good cabinet space here. Now, another thing that separates a Pinnacle, not just from a North Point, but from most of the entire marketplace, is that they don't just use hardwood cabinet doors, but it's all hardwood cabinetry. This is not like a wood core with even a, uh, a sticker style wrap. 
it is all stained hardwood cabinetry. That's another one of those big kind of separator features right there. Now they have updated their uh, kitchen features here to look and feel a lot more residential because that's kind of that's what they're going for. Instead of an RV being a recreational vehicle, they're trying to kind of bridge the gap to be something of like a residential vehicle, if you think about it. Big backsplash on both sides of that stove, and if you're looking, this big aggressive stove is very household-like with four burners, two of those being very high output. One being more like a simmer burner where you can keep something warm like a sauce while you're waiting for your meat to finish or whatever. Big oven on here, all of our drawers are soft closed drawers. And even that bottom drawer has a drawer in a drawer. I mean, it's just, it's different and it's very cool. Now over here, it's easy to miss with all the doors closed, but you do have a big pantry with an extra large storage section up top. You're definitely gonna need like a two-stepper to get there, uh, but you know, what fifth wheel doesn't at this stage? Now before we jump into that half bath, uh, right over here by the entry door, past that shade, past my reflection in that uh, bedroom sliding door, you've got a handy coat closet. And it's just a personal pet peeve of mine, big RVs that don't have a coat closet by the door, and obviously this one satisfies, but you're seeing this little bag. What is this thing? Well, this is an enhanced feature available for the BM Pro control system that you find in your Jayco RVs now. This is uh, something that was uh, based off of what you find in Jayco Australia, their sister company, and I think this is one of their best systems yet. First of all, I like the fact that if the screen is off, you don't have to wait to turn your lights off and on. You have light buttons down here. Also, if you want to open awnings, if you want to open slides, you can control that all right here without having to um, like mess with your digital control screen. But anything you can do off this device, you can do off your phone. So if you want to handle your climate controls, your auto leveling, your lights, awnings, slides, fans, etc., you can do all that right from your phone. In addition to those little wireless control pads that we saw, this is the brain they all talk to. So what's in my hand? If you look real close, it's a tire pressure monitoring system. Your big fancy Jayco's get an enhanced chipset effectively that talks to these. So what happens is these little widgets talk to the brain, which can then relay information to your phone. So that if you're zipping down the road, chances are in the cab of your vehicle, you have your phone handy. Well, you can, uh, you know, check your, your tire pressures in motion or at a travel stop or whatever. Now down here, you do have your central vacuum system complete with what I like to call the electric dustpan. That's the uh, short, flat, rectangular thing. You can just sort of kick your toe up, it'll activate the vacuum suction feature, and you can just sweep right into it. Now your half bath here. This is great for either quick travel stops, it's great if you're outside, you want to hop in and out real quick, or it's good for guests, you know, friends, family, the unwashed masses, because you probably don't want people running through your master bedroom to get to the, the front bathroom. So this gives everybody a little access point here. Now it's also neat, like uh, if you look at this, even this is solid surface countertops, but you see those LED inlays? There are accent lights in the kitchen, in the bedroom, and both bathrooms, so that if you do need to navigate a little bit at night, you can without turning on main cabin lights and blinding everybody. And if you notice how, uh, like look at the depth variance right here. This is not just the idea of a medicine cabinet. This is very, very functional. So if you do have adult guests for a weekend, they can really kind of set up shop here and, you know, have a good time of it. They're not really going to feel like they're sleeping on a guest bed in your basement or anything. And, you know, they're not using the kids' bathroom. This is sharp. Now, moving up into the bedroom, as I mentioned before, you will not see the air conditioner in here. They have a quiet cooling air system here in their bedrooms. Also, what's nice here all sorts of headroom. To give you an idea, I'm 6'2 or 3 depending on the shoes I'm wearing on a given day. No headroom issues here, even if I stand all the way against the sidewall. And that's one of the things that kind of separates Jayco's North Points and Pinnacles from a lot of brands, is they actually are a little bit bigger. They're a little bit taller upper deck in most cases so that you get that extra headroom there. Now, there are uh, wall control panels to be able to activate things like your ceiling light switches, uh, both in the bed area as well as uh, accent lights. So uh, if you want to turn on the reading lights, you've got a switch where I'm standing and you've got another one of those control panels over there. So you've got a six function control panel no matter where you're at. Now, the one thing I will say, it really did make me sad to see that Jacob was not sensitive to the pressures that the uh, illegal uh, Himalayan Yeti fur trade 
have, uh, you know, placed upon the Yeti population there in the Himalayas. But there's good news. It's all removable. And frankly, I don't really know anybody that tends to use the factory, uh, you know, bed dressings anyway. Everybody seems to swap that stuff out themselves. Now there's uh, little side stands for your phones and whatnot on both sides of the bed. And there are household outlets on both sides of the bed as well for my CPAP using friends. And what's cool is this is a king standard. You actually have to option down to a queen in a pinnacle. So there's always room to be able to move around up here like I am doing. Directly across from the bed, we've got a downward angled HD TV so that even in the bedroom, you have a no neck wrecker entertainment center. Now, I'm not uh, like I hear some people tell me sometimes the type of people that purchase Pinnacle because I'm not like a prototypical pin Pinnacle buyer, you know, it just doesn't fit my age bracket. But those that are, they say, well, son, you know, at my age, you don't want to crank your neck around. I'm going to tell you something, guys. You don't have to be old to not want to crank your neck around. You don't have to be middle aged. Even when I was a kid, I didn't want to crank my neck around. So the fact that, uh, you know, even here in the bedroom, you don't have to do that is very nice. Now, you see those lower accent lights right there? There's one switch that controls those accent lights, kind of like you saw that light ring inside the half bath sink. You'll see the same thing up here. So again, if you do need to access this stuff at night, you can do so without waking everybody up, blinding your partner. This is a dual lavatory model, which is fancy talk for double sink. And each side, like, first of all, you've got that giant middle mirror, which makes the room look even larger in the bathroom. But each side has its own personal medicine cabinet. So let's say you've got your own personal, I don't know, medications. You've got your own personal spaces for personal things. Now, when you get a front bath like this, you just get an absolutely enormous space. You do have room where two people can get around all at once. And since our washer dryer prep is over on the left, it's not actually in the main closet. It creates the ability to have an absolutely huge front closet. Remember, this is a wide body coach. So you're getting eight foot six of uh, storage space up here. And you can see how it's symmetrical. Both sides have dresser shelves. Both sides have dual hanging rods. So you have four hanging rods, and that is motion sensitive lighting. So it kicks on when you need it. Turns off after you close the door so you're not accidentally sapping your batteries if you forget to hit your disconnect in storage or something like that. Although there will always be a little parasitic draw, of course. Switching sides, you can see one of those two guest chairs here. Again, they could go under the bed because there is full storage there. They could go here in the closet. Or you could just leave them in the basement or leave them at home. Now, again, this is uh, washer dryer prepped. It can accommodate a stackable washer dryer. Or you can just use it like a massive linen generic storage closet. Seamless one piece molded fiberglass shower with adjustable height head hardware or uh, shower head hardware there. And you can see how you've got a little shelf there, uh, whether you need to set down your, you know, soaps or body washes. And then we've got a full seat for those who maybe either want to or prefer to sit or need to sit while they bathe. Um, you know, handy for maybe uh, shaving your legs or something like that, of course. Porcelain foot flush stool. And another of those larger Max Air vent fans up here so that. After you're done showering, or if you just want some good airflow anytime, you can kick that fan on and get all that heat and humidity from your shower out of here and not affecting the RV. Now to come back to a couple things that I mentioned when this video first began. First of all, the warranty. There's been a lot of warranty confusion out there for years. Jayco's had the longest RV warranty available in this class for a long time. They've had two years of coverage. But there's been these three-year structural things out there that had people kind of confused. So Jayco said, we're going to take care of the confusion, and we're going to be two years of coverage plus three-year structural. And ain't that nice. Now up front here, you can see that Moride pin box. That is object one of the five components in the five-star ride and handling system, because this is a big girl, and you've got to be able to get there safely and feel comfortable doing it. Now these have had the largest front storage compartment in their class for several years now. Room for like six batteries or so up here. And this is what it's going to look like up front if it is built generator ready. Now generator ready on a Pinnacle also upgrades from two 30 pound propane tanks to three 40 pound propane tanks because that is set for a propane generator. So you get double the propane capacity with this upgrade even if you're not going to add a generator. Now I also mentioned they have set, uh, updated to a six point hydraulic auto leveling system. That's the control brain right there. And people have been kind of asking for that for a couple seasons, but Jayco never had hydraulic leveling. And you know, the question is why and why now? Well, the thing is this is rated for hot, cold camp. You know, if, if you want a cold rated RV, 
then you need a leveling system that works in the cold, logically. But common RV hydraulic systems gel up and freeze up in the cold. Actually, sometimes their manufacturers will actually have something in their owner's manuals telling you, hey, don't do it. Well, Jayco searched and searched and they found a better supplier, at least in their view. Obviously, the word better is subjective. But anyway, what they did is they found a system that includes a type of fluid that does not freeze up when it gets cold. It has to get to some super arctic freezing cold number where you wouldn't be moving outside anyway to get that fluid to freeze up. So they finally have a six point uh, faster moving, stronger hydraulic leveling system that uh, you know does not fail just because the temperature drops. That's pretty awesome. Now the, the high gloss on that skin just looks absolutely stellar. You can see we add the optional slide awnings here on our big high profile Jayco's because it's it adds a lot of extra protection. It shades that slide to help keep it a little bit cooler, but it also, frankly, just, uh, it, it's so much cheaper to do them from the factory than to do them at any dealership. No dealership can match the price that you can get that stuff from Jayco. Now, uh, you can control the auto leveling system through that BM Pro system, but you can also control it out here in the top of that enclosed docking center. Now, it's very easy to, to see how to control and command everything in here. They've got very simple labels and pictures. Even my daughter, who's nine, can run all this stuff. There's a side mount solar prep plug there, but you'll see roof solar on this RV as well. All of our pull handles are right here where they're enclosed, protected, and heated. Um, and also, you might notice that it's not just an enclosed, forced air, heated, insulated underbelly. It's fully skirted as well. Now, as we look over here in this massive drop frame storage compartment, you see what I can most easily describe as like a Culligan jug. It's a five gallon water jug. And you can see there's like a, a hose coming down for it. This RV has a separate freshwater drinking system. There's a little 12 volt pump that'll, act, that'll control that. Because I know a lot of people who only drink bottled water when they're camping because they don't trust the local water at a campground that they've never visited before. So this gives you the ability to basically always have a huge supply of fresh drinking water or cooking water right on your campsite, but you can easily exchange that jug at like any big box store of your choice effectively. Now, uh, you know, insulation packages and R this and that, there's just way too much misinformation out there. Suffice to say, there is no main market manufacturer who is putting up better proven cold camp data than Jayco RV. It's just that simple, guys. Now, you can see these tires here. These are Goodyear Endurance Beast tires. These are massive. A couple years ago, they actually had to redesign Pinnacles and North Points and some of their toy haulers to even be able to accept these larger tires. They have a huge load rating. They're rated for up to 87 miles an hour, which I hope you're never doing with this thing. But you only need to put 80 PSI in them, so you don't have to go to like an industrial tire shop to put uh, pressure in these. It is the only American-made tire used in the towable RV industry. Now, of course, this is a big 50-amp camper, but what's nice is you see that little switch next to that reel right there. This has a power extend and retract coil for that heavy 50-amp cord, so you don't have to lug that big sucker around. Now, uh, if you look at the slide mechanism on that kitchen right there, that's what's called a power gear system. It is, uh, it, it's used in a lot of places where you might find Schwintech slides, but it tends to fare better on really heavy slides like that big kitchen entertainment slide you're seeing right there. So the mechanical aspects of this pinnacle, as always, right on point. <clears throat> Pardon me. We have a two inch receiver hitch on the back over here. Gives you the perfect place to be able to do things like add a bike rack. And you'll notice that Pinnacles, uh, they're very good about this. They always have like extra brake lights and you've got reverse travel lighting below that center brake light is a white beam right above your, uh, your license plate effectively so that you can absolutely see what's going on behind you. Whether you're using a backup camera, which you can see it's prepped for, or if you have a spotter back here, either way you're going to be very happy with the uh, you know, visual acuity that you can achieve backing up at night with your Jayco Pinnacle. And true to form, over here on the campsite, they did everything all the way. This is also a really nice chance to get to see, it, it's kind of telling the extra tall windows on those slide sides or beside that sofa. They really kind of stick out at you from this direction here. Now, uh, you got the dual power awnings, one on the face of the super slide, then one on the main body of the coach. This thing has just awesome patio coverage. Now over here, it used to be 
we would always option on the outside TV because it's what gave you that really nice dining table inside. Well, since then, the dining table became standard, and suddenly there's been a bit of a market shift where we've had a lot of people say, um, I don't know if I care about an outside TV. So if you could, please do me a favor so that I know that we're always building the right pinnacle for you. Leave me a note. Should we add the outside TV or not? Understand, you will always get the outside TV enclosure. You could always add a TV after the fact, but do you think we should keep adding on from the factory level that extra Furion TV out there? I'd really like to know what you folks think. Now, both power runnings, obviously, you can control through the BM Pro system or off your phone as an extension, um, and they both have lighting below them. Now, our entry door here, if I take a step back, look at the size of our door in comparison to the slide. It is not just a 30 inch wide door, it's also a six and a half foot tall door. That's a residential standard height door. That's nice, that means big people like me aren't gonna crack my head on that thing. Now notice too, they're using an extra, extra large handle so that coming in and out is easy. You've always got something to hold on to. And of course, they're not just using more ride steps, they're using the zero gravity more ride steps. And I tell you, where those are really nice is like, if you've had, uh, you know, a bad shoulder or something like that, you don't have to try to heave that big heavy four step up there. You don't gotta worry about falling on your head, crushing your dog, something like that. Those are just great. Hey, Jody, in there, by the way, watch your step. First one's gonna be a doozy. <laughs> so, this is an easier way to get to see. There is a little spotlight down here, as well as outside speakers, right on the skirt level, so that if you uh, uh, have your sound on outside, you're listening to music or something like that, you're not blowing away the neighbors. And this is an easily overlooked, really smart feature right here. Just a simple cold water sprayer port for a little bit of campsite cleanup. With my daughter being a fan of the bubble machine, that right there would be a godsend. Now, obviously, we've got the double magnet catches, double slam latches to get us into this big drop frame basement compartment here. Now, here's another interesting note. You also still have outside TV hookups here, and you're thinking, why are there two sets of outside TV hookups? Basically, because these existed before the slide face-mounted TV existed, and they just said, hey, why remove it? Now, we already talked about that bottle over there. I love how big and wide open and just clean and nicely finished this is in here. Easy access to our central vacuum dump station, motion lighting, extra power outlets right there. You could put a mini fridge out here and uh, frankly be you know pretty well off. And we already talked about the extra direct heating and uh, 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 radiant barriers going on there, like directly on that bed and bath deck. And it's all that extra attention to detail it you know kind of really it, it's a big indicator of where the success of the pinnacle series come from and the peace of mind you get from that two plus three full-time rving warranty it's all those are factors that pour into it good gravy is that sun bright this morning now not only are you going to get a good look at this pinnacle's roof but you also get a nice peek at my peter pan shadow how you doing anyway up here you can't see it but we're walking on something very different Industry standard uh, roof decking is 3 8 inch OSB, and that's fine. It's fine. It's perfectly walkable. Uh, like Montana uses it, they hold together just great. So it's not necessarily the playbook. It is the execution that matters. But Jayco likes to have both ends of that cover. They like to have good execution and a good playbook, which is why they're using their XL6 Magnum Truss Roof System, which you probably don't know what all that jargon means. Basically, we're on wide body plywood roof decking on heavier roof trusses, which is why this has the heaviest load rating in its class. Now, on the right-hand side of the frame currently, you can see a roof solar prep plug with a nice big blank canvas worth of space where you can really go solar crazy on here if you were so inclined. Now, moving forward, one other thing I really want to point out up here is that WineGuard Air 360 antenna system. If you are going to use the, well, we still call it kind of rabbit ears because people know what that means. Although my kid doesn't know what rabbit ears means, so maybe we'll have to change that terminology moving forward. But, <clears throat> and there, ladies and gentlemen, is a lesson on the uh, evolution of language. Anyway, like roll the window down. You don't roll the window down. Anyway, I'm way off track here. God. Um, <laughs> what I'm getting at. You don't have to crank the antenna up and down. It's omnidirectional, hence the Air 360 portion of that. So all you do is a channel scan and then enjoy some TV. And it's just one more ease and convenience thing that you have here on these pinnacles. Now, it's little details like that that separate brands A to B to C to D to whatever else. And as you can see, that's why we carry so many different things here at Halet RV to always get you the one that has exactly what you're looking for. 
So give us a call, take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping everyone.